It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's... truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, uh, some people, they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Uh, by you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. Or does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right, you grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. You need anything, get me on the headset. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job, so what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready.
T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. Still looking for it. Engine's gone. Plane's coming down. You want it?
change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mikey. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. That's your fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know? It's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Follow the bike. Call me, come on.
Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Fruit salad has pineapple in it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you I'm allergic. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now, now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. They need you on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Sorry, he's not carrying one of our props. You need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! At least get him a mask, or makeup, or something! Stop it! Stop it! are shutting your ass down, wacko! They ain't gonna be on us for long! Shit. Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? This button says Spike? No, I'm not cool. Not at all. I mean... Chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. What do you mean, the whip? I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Where? Where are the puppies? Bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the car. No drum. That's good. The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing too? Spikes, yeah. But the seats is fine. Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. 
You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh, life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. miracle did you want me to perform?
Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner, good guy, very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, OK? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. <sighs> The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great! Right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, well... Okay, well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Meriwether networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, Where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards, merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia. Call our guys south of the border. Tell them there's a fire sale. I'll get you on the CB. Ahead of me. We got the weapons they're using to enslave us on board. If we could get 
a hold of them! Oh my god! Are you planning on forcing them to land? Didn't I say we had to take them in the air if we're to have any kind of shot at this? I thought I said that. You did. It's just I don't see how you're going to... Ah, you'll see. leader. Crop Duster, just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather. Unidentified aircraft, divert your course or we will be forced to shoot you down. Shoot me down? Now that's not very sociable. Chances, pal. We are clear to engage. You're actually firing rockets. Hey! 
Get off my butt! Now, who's gonna fly this thing? Come in, air traffic control. There has been a change of personnel and destination on the Meriwether jet. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field. Changing frequency, over. Ron, Ron, you there? I got the jet. You with the buyers? Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly safe now. down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea. But it'll take time. Tell Oscar. 
He ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli. Mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. And you're telling me to calm down? I'm gonna stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job! No! Oh! Any more you bitches wanna get in my way? Ah! Where's Enzo? if I have to.
idiot. Oh. I'm putting you out of business, motherfuckers. He's here! Get that punk! Fuckers are they? Do not let him through. You hear me? This is a joke. Deal with them. Someone, I'll be out here. Where the fuck is he? I'll place all you fools if I have to. Motherfuckers! Taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin.
It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive. You should call him. he appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. Damn. Thanks again, Internet. What? That crazy motherfucker Lamar hasn't got you killed yet? No, not yet. He must be slacking. He's always slacking. He's a fool, bro. Yeah, sometimes. Anyway, talking of fools, what would you say if I told you some fools I knew were running a little racing competition? And as luck would have it, they got this really beautiful silver medal with your name on it. I say go fuck yourself. Bronze medal then? <laughs> Funny motherfucker. Watching Franklin. Okay, let's go. Excuse for being on foot. I'm from Liberty City. No getaway car. 
I cannot believe this! I can't... This guy's wrong. Thank you for dealing with those punks. The police do nothing around here. So I take it I can count on your attendance, friend. Huh? At the smoke in. We're what? Yeah, we're gonna bring down the government by smoking weed together in a public place. It's very effective. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. Would you like a little warm up? You know, before you go and collect the supplies? Before I what? You know, get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. You know, cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. Man, I don't know. It sounds kind of bullshit to me. We're gonna crush them with our resolve. <clears throat> Have a little taste of that. <clears throat> Just a mellow, sophisticated high. Man, it seems a little dry. Can't you see the aliens? Man, what else are you taking? Man, this shit is garbage. Anyway, just get the stuff. It's a revolution, and then call me. Crazy motherfucker. 